What are the immune evasion mechanisms of M. tuberculosis? Mycobacterium tuberculosis enters the respiratory system and is first phagocytosed by alveolar macrophages, which are key players in the innate immune response. These macrophages recognize the bacterium using pattern recognition receptors, PRRs, like TLRs and NLRs, triggering the release of pro-inflammatory cytokines like TNF, IL-1B, and IFNGU. This response helps control the spread of the pathogen. However, M. tuberculosis has evolved various immune evasion strategies. It can inhibit macrophage phagocytosis, evade lysosomal degradation, and suppress cytokine production to survive within the host. The bacteria primarily restrict their spread by forming granulomas, immune structures consisting of macrophages, T-cells, and other immune cells. These granulomas help contain the infection, with macrophages playing a central role in pathogen clearance. However, M. tuberculosis can escape immune surveillance by altering macrophage function and disrupting granuloma structure. Adaptive immunity, particularly CD4 plus T cells, is crucial in fighting the infection. T cells release IFNG, activating macrophages and enhancing the immune response. But M. tuberculosis can still evade the immune system by altering T cell activation, inducing tolerance, and reducing the immune system's ability to clear the pathogen. B cells also contribute to immunity by producing antibodies, which help clear pathogens via phagocytosis, ADCC, and CDC. However, antibody responses are generally weak in TB patients, and their protective role remains uncertain. Although antibodies may help control latent TB, T cell responses are the main defense against active TB. In conclusion, M. tuberculosis uses complex immune evasion strategies, making tuberculosis a chronic and challenging disease to treat. Understanding these mechanisms is key to developing better treatments and vaccines 